What's up, internet? Ang dami nagtatanong for a 15k budget build. And dito sa Hardware Sugar, we're always trying to give you the best value. Dito sa videos and sa mga components na binibili ninyo. For that price range, you really want to go with a second hand. Mas value for money yung second hand components. So ito na, yung 15k budget build natin. The best possible value for money. In this video, we'll talk about number one. Ano ba tong specs natin and magkano ba sila? Number two, where did we buy the second-hand items? And number three, the critical mistake we did na nasayang lang pera namin, wala pa kaming budget build, but you can learn from our mistakes. Yun yung pinakamahalaga. Right after you learn about how to activate Windows from our sponsor. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated Windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sadong depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com So number one, what are the specs and any budget natin per component? We split the budget around the middle, around 7,000 for the GPU and 8,000 for everything else. Starting with the GPU, we got a Gigabyte 1650 low profile. Bakit mahalaga yung low profile at bakit mahalaga walang kailangan na additional PCIe power connectors? We'll get to that. But first, this costs 7,500 second hand. For a little bit more, you could get a card that's substantially faster. Let's say the 5500 XT, brand new from Asurix. A bit pricier, but also faster. Pero kailangan natin tong specific na low-profile card because our CPU is this guy. A repurposed office computer from HP, HP ProDesk. But it has an i5-10500, 1x8 of 3600 RAM. Comes with its own hard drive. And the specs on this thing allow you to add on later. Pwede ka maglagay ng M.2 drive. Pwede ka pa maglagay ng isa pang RAM because there is an additional slot. And so that's why the 1650 low profile was super important. So the advantages of getting a second-hand office computer is number one, familiar to sa atin. Maraming mga enthusiasts. Nagsimula dun sa kinakalikot nila yung office computers nila. Bored sila sa trabaho, they're wondering, ano ba tong nagpa-power sa Word ko and sa Excel ko? They start opening it up, they start tinkering with it. So a lot of enthusiasts, yan yung origin story nila dito sa office computer. So it's something that's familiar to us. Number two, madalas na magpalit yung mga offices. So yung pag-inventory nila, palit ng bago, dispose ka agad ng luma, Maraming on the market na second hand. This guy only cost around 8,000 for an i5-10500. Pero sobrang good deal yun. Our guy who does the second hand purchases, kabisado talaga niya yung second hand market because before he was with Hardware Sugar, he would build computers and a lot of the builds were centered around that, yung mga nabibiling second hand items. Usually for around that price, 8,000 for an 8th or 9th gen, makukuha mo lang yung unit. Ito, 10th gen, may kasama pang monitor, may kasama pang peripherals. Nakatulong talaga na yung nagbabantay dun sa second hand parts, kabisado talaga niya. It also helped na rush sale to. Paalis na yung seller, papunta ng abroad, gusto talaga niya na mabenta. And actually, sobrang in demand kahit yung 8th and 9th gen at around 8,000 pesos. This is like the third unit, third or fourth unit that we tried to buy at that price range. Pero nabigo kami dun sa mga una kasi... There were other buyers that would get them before us. Sobrang in demand. 
But we really struck gold with this one, i5-10500. Tapos yung mahalaga dito, their desktop components. So you could actually take the CPU and plop it into a standard desktop computer with a compatible motherboard, gagana siya. The RAM used is also desktop. If you're looking towards the future, it is easy to upgrade. Yan yung isa sa mga lookouts na dapat bantayan mo. Because if you are looking to buy a second-hand office computer also and modify it to a gaming computer, be sure that you get something that uses desktop components. May mga mini PC kasi na laptop components sila. So they're much harder to upgrade for. Generally, mas mabagal yung mga laptop components compared to their desktop equivalent. Kung bibili ka na lang ng second-hand office computer, pwede naman tong maliit, pero make sure na yung nasa loob pang desktop talaga. But that is also one of the drawbacks of getting these second-hand computers. Yung OEM type or galing sa mga malaking brands like HP, like this one, like Dell, proprietary or customized yung iba nilang components. So you'll notice the CPU cooler of this one is proprietary. They had to make it very small to fit into this small case. I've never in my entire life had to deal with this kind of hinge system na parang it pops out like this. So again, that's also custom. And that's why we needed a 1650 low profile kasi wala ka nang malagay na extra PCIe power connectors dito. The computer simply doesn't have it. Kahit yung 24 pin niya dito, nakahiwalay. Splinit talaga nila customized engineering for the specific layout and the PSU that they have here. So actually, super interesting buying these second-hand office-type computers. May advantages, namely the price, namely na familiar ka, pero may disadvantages din because hindi sila standard, hindi to stock na mabibili mo off the shelf and mapapalitan mo kaagad. So you do need to do a lot of research when considering these types of setups. Number two, sa namin nabili yung mga to. All of these items are bought on Facebook Marketplace. And that could be a scary place for a lot of us. Parang inisip natin, puro scammer lang yung FB Marketplace. And it's true, we had a customer before, nabili niyang CPU. Mahal! Um, uso pa nun, mga 11th gen ata, 11900 ata nabili niya. Tapos, fake pala yung CPU. When we were installing it, na-delete siya. Hindi namin sinasadyang i-delete, na-delete lang siya. And if you've assembled computers, you know that that shouldn't happen. Nung chinek namin, peke talaga yung die underneath. So parang yung markings lang sa exterior, 11900. Pero pag nung na-delete siya accidentally, nakita namin na hindi pala. So galit na galit si buyer dun sa nabilhan niya. So buying secondhand Facebook Marketplace can be scary. But for us, thankfully so far, wala pa kaming bad experience. Two different sellers, iba nagbenta nitong GPU, tsaka iba nagbenta nitong office PC. And both of them, we paid up front without seeing the items. Kasi to be honest, medyo hassle pa kung pupunta pa tayo doon. If you're the one buying it for yourself, you may want to take the time to go to the seller and test it in person. Pero sa amin, okay na na pinavideo namin na gumagana naman yung items, pinadala yung video, look good, so we paid, and then deliver. Pag detay namin, we tested them, and everything is good. In fact, while we were waiting, nauna kasi tong GPU, we've been using this GPU extensively sa test bench namin, sa mga testing setups namin. So far, no problems. So I think the best way to approach buying secondhand is with the proper mindset na, yes, you need to be careful and do proper due diligence, but at the same time, wag ka masyadong matakot. Wag naman masyadong unreasonable na lahat na lang ini-expect mo ng buyer. We'll ask for a video, it seemed to be good enough, we paid up front, items got delivered, everything okay. A big factor in determining kung okay ba yung seller is kung responsive ba sila, okay ba sila kausap. Mararamdaman mo naman kung scammer based on how they reply, kung puro benta lang inisit nila or they're very cavalier about their items. Basta parang yun nga, hindi nila masyadong pinapansin yung mga detailed questions mo. So it's really a gut feeling. Is this a transaction that you think legitimate naman? But don't be scared to explore Facebook Marketplace and other forums kasi marami talagang good deals on the market. And again, like this one, 8,000 for an i5-10500. May kasama ng monitor, may kasama pang peripherals. Really excellent find na mahahanap mo lang dun sa mga second hand. But number three, why is a rig still in pieces? And ito yung crucial mistake namin, which you could also make. So yun nga, learn from our mistakes. It was such a great deal. Pero hindi namin magamit. Kasi yung one problem is, yung PCIe slot niya nandito sa ilalim. Kung nandito siya sa medyo forward or mas malapit sa CPU, 
kakasha pa. Pero since the PCIe slot is here at the bottom, hindi nakasha yung card kahit low profile. And our guy did everything possible. Chinek talaga niya yung specs, chinek talaga niya yung ang sinasabi ng mga tao online about this pro desk. But that's really the thing about buying these OEM computers. Ang daming customized and ang daming variants. They make it super confusing. This is a G7 Pro Desk, but you can easily find something that's named similarly. Pero hindi mo alam kung same generation, hindi mo alam kung future or past generation. Basically, the OEMs don't care to label them properly kasi hindi naman talaga to mini-maintenance yung mga office computers. Benta, use for five years, and then dispose. Bibili ng mga, mga big corporations, big offices, bibili ulit ng bago. And that's the way this OEM market works. They don't really care about labeling them properly. So doing proper research is really hard. How we could have avoided it was na may low-profile card na kami, dadalhin pa namin yung low-profile card dun sa seller nitong rig and then tatry namin isalpak, tatry namin ipasok yung uh, GPU into the system. So actual hands-on, kumbaga dun sa system. But really not plausible for our type na we just wanted to get a decent video out of it. We'd have to send somebody over. And imagine this was like the fourth build that we tried to buy already. Imagine if we had to go to each one of them. It takes up a lot of our time. But our misfortune is your gain. You can learn from that mistake. And you really need to be super careful when you're interested in getting one of these OEMs. The advantage kanya is the price and the performance. i5 10500 at 8,000 pesos. Plus plus pa all of the other accessories. Such a good deal. But yun nga, may mga downsides din which you need to take into consideration. So, sinabi ko at the start na this is our 15k budget build, um, but that was actually not really true because yun nga, di namin magamit tong low profile card dito sa rig. So, what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna sell this. Mahanap mo siya dun sa second hand list natin. Yung kagandahan ng second hand Google Sheet natin is that you don't need to deal individually with different sellers. Lahat yun naka consolidate. Tas ka usap mo lang kami, hardware sugar. We'll take care about answering your questions about the details of the secondhand parts. We'll also take care about sending the money to the owners. We don't warranty them, but so far, hindi pa kami nagka problema. Kasi reliable naman yung hardware sugar customers. Only hardware sugar customers are allowed to post their items dun sa secondhand sheet natin. So that's an additional factor na mapagkatiwalaan mo naman. Although, to be fair, yun nga, both of these items still good from their respective owners. If you're interested in a very good deal i5-10500, we're gonna be listing this on our second-hand list. It's working, we've tested it, and we would really like to use it for the budget rig. But yun nga lang, there's no space to install a GPU. Definitely, we need a GPU for the budget build because we're going for something all around. Yung decente sa gaming, decente na rin for any kind of office work and light editing that you need to do. So, we'll be sad to let this go, to be honest. It was such a good deal. But if it's something that you're looking for, you can find it on the second-hand list. Even though nakalagay na kami ng labor, a lot of man hours went into checking, into buying it, into making sure everything was above board, we might just sell it for the price that we bought it at. And if you're interested, nandun yun sa second-hand list natin. The link is in the video description below. So, wala pa tayong 15k budget build. Tuloy pa rin yung experiment. But that's why we didn't jump into doing just a brand new 15k build. Kasi for me, boring yun. Price to performance, value for money, at that price point is in the second-hand market. And yun, we'll be looking for another good deal that hopefully, in the next video that we do for our 15k budget build, magagamit na natin tong 1650 in a rig that is at least around 9th gen. Or kung makaswerte tayo, 10th gen rin siya. Till then, thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.